Hi everybody, I'm going to share with you a little bit of advice for trying to make sure your PowerPoint is not too busy of a design. So taking a look at this first slide here, there's a lot of colors going on. We can read the title, it's a little harder to find the subtitle, but we can make this a whole lot better. Now if this was a design that I created and I applied to all my slides, my other slides are going to look just as busy. You can tell this one is not as easy to read at a glance. What can you do to fix it? Do you have to completely scrap this whole design? Or is there something else you can do? Are all these colors really necessary? I mean, it really, it's nice, it's a rainbow, but do we need all of the colors? Is it just for fun? Just because you like all the colors? Doesn't necessarily mean it's a good design. If you still need an image, which you do in your final projects that you're gonna be creating, this slide's gonna get way busier. You're gonna have all these colors and these square patterns, and you're gonna have a picture in there and text, it gets to be way too much. So this next slide is going to have an example on how you can fix this and potentially still use your design. So this is easier to read at a glance. Part of that is because I set transparency to my boxes. And what you would do is when you click on a box that has your text in it, you will see drawing tools come up at the top of your screen and format. Click on that tab and it will open up a ribbon with options to help you change the shape. What you can then do is make sure there's a fill color. So I put just a plain white. I figure the background is such a busy rainbow design that plain white would be a good choice. And then I went into more colors, more fill colors, which opened this, uh, this window here. And you can just barely see where it's pointing on my screen here. But just to the bottom of this, you'll either see this kind of um, polygon with a bunch of different choices on it or you might be on custom where it's it has the full rainbow in there uh, all you need to do is look just below here and adjust a little scroll bar with transparency if you make it less than a hundred percent it'll start to show some of the background you won't see it right away you have to hit ok and you can see if it's ok and if it didn't work you just go back in and maybe make it a little higher or a little smaller Make sure that your font is a style and color that's easy to read in your transparency. All I did was change my text to be bold. So if we go back, you can see it's unbolded in here. I didn't have a picture either, so the font was still pretty big. Uh, but I bolded it as well to make it a little bit more obvious and easy for people to read. Even though there is a lot of information on my slide, it's easier for people to see it and perhaps read themselves from a distance. Now this is a little better, in fact. One of your solutions could be even easier than setting your transparency of your text boxes. You could simply make uh, the whole light on dark, dark on light rule, um, make the background a little bit less busy by pulling out some of the colors. So what you would do is if you go into design and you go into format background, you'll have this little window pop up, format background. And I had a gradient, so I would have gradient selected here, and I can click on any of these little tabs. And then I can click on delete, or I can click hold my mouse and drag them off. That'll get rid of them too. And I could change their colors by selecting one, going to color, and choosing a new color for that. So you can see most of my slide is blue. I made that on purpose so that it would be very easy for my white and yellow letters to stand out and kept it more like a border around the edge and just a little purple in the center. But the purple is so close to the blue that you can see the yellow text on it pretty easily on either one. So that's just a little bit of advice for you on making a good design. Remember, don't get too busy.